What's going on YouTube? Nexus here bringing you another Black 2, White 2 battle. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a match. It's mostly because my personal life is pretty disastrous right now. And uh, honestly, I, I'm in a spot where I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Uh, but on the top side, I do have Pokemon battles. <laughs> uh, so this is an OU match against Battle Power 777. Um, judging by his team... Threats? Oh my god, it's a threats to my team. Uh, Soraptor, Infernape, Breloom, Gyarados, all threats to my team. Fortress, not so much. He's mo mostly there to be annoying. Jolteon, absolutely not a threat. Uh, out of all the things that could not be a threat, definitely Jolteon is the big, the least threat. Honestly, it's like Death Fodder at this point, just from the team preview alone. Uh, Infernape's going to be a problem with close combat, so is Staraptor. Uh, my whole team's kind of weak to ro uh, fighting. Not rock, but fighting. Uh, my team consists of Tyranitar, Ferrothorn, Stoutland, uh, Golurk, Landorus, and Hydreigon. As you can see, it, see, I have a big fighting weakness, and uh, one resistor and one immunity. Um, this team was built to be like a really offensive sand team with like a couple defensive guys in there that kind of support each other pretty well. Um, yeah, it's it's better than it looks. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say that right out. Uh, though a few item choices have been iffy at best um but yeah just hope you guys enjoy this match we'll dive right in and see how it goes so here we go challenge by LA uh sorry about the quality of this video my computer is scrapping up it's messing up crapping up everything is crapping just terrible so I'm going to have a Tyranitar as he leads off with his uh, Infernape, obviously, because uh, my whole team's weak to fighting, so that was a pretty obvious move. Uh, I play him pretty straightforward at the beginning of the game, but then, of course it's safe to play uh, straightforward at the beginning of the match. Don't want to make any overpredictions, kind of get into the mind of your opponent, see what he wants to do so far. Uh, I can see he's a straightforward player, but that's just for, for turn one alone, so I can't just basically use that as a judgment. Uh, here is Staraptor, I can take pretty much any hit from Staraptor, because I max HP, max defense. So I'm gonna, after I set the stealth rocks, so I'm going to stay in. Let's see what he wants to do, so I'm going to just go for the HP Ice, it's, uh, I think he proceeds to Brave Bird me, which he indeed does, so Brave Bird all over my face is going to do a hefty chunk, uh, honestly I thought I would take that better, but that makes me think he might be banded. Uh, of course he could also be Scarfed, uh, I don't see Leftovers, don't see Life Orb, once again, uh, I thought his Infernate was banded, or Scarfed as well. Um, probably Scarfed a little late from that damage, but I could be wrong, uh, altogether it could be Expert Belt or some weird set for all I know. Uh, he's going to Brave Bird here. Uh, I was fearing the close combat thing. He might be like some expert belt set. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be the riskiest play I've ever made in my life. At the same time, it's not. So, uh, he stays and tries to finish me off. But I'm not going to stay in this. This is too obvious. Here, I'm thinking he's going to overpredict me to overpredict. And a prediction war is going to end. So I'm going to switch in this guy to predict the close combat, thinking that he might go for the Fire Blast. But instead, I do go into Focus Now, as he reveals to me that he's in fact Mixate. Oh my god, but I get off a Rock Polish, so just threaten out the Infernape. Uh, I coulda, shoulda, coulda, shoulda went straight for the Earthquake, because he still has a goddamn Gyarados. Not just any Gyarados, as we'll find out later. Fucking bulky-ass Gyarados with Intimidate. Honestly, I hate Gyarados so much, uh, but I'm glad I find out he doesn't have D-Dance. Because honestly, D-Dance Gara would just tear us through all teams. Just doesn't even give a fuck. Just carry a Ferrothorn for D-Dance Gyarados. That's like all you need. Uh, here I'm predicting something. I don't even know, but I'm going to switch into uh, Wolf predicting uh, God knows the D-Dance, I think. Uh, I think I was ready to him to set up on me, considering he gets a free switch. Obviously. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Wild Charge here as he switches his Fortress. Uh, I have really nothing to hit Fortress with uh, Wolf, so I'm just going to switch out and go into something else, as I think he's going to try to rapid spin here, and I'm just going to go into Edgar Allan Go. Uh, basically, oh, it's a set of his stealth runs. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to throw him out with a Fire Blast, because obvious Fire Blast is Fire... Fire Blast is <laughs> obvious, but I'm going to go for the EQ instead, predicting him to switch out to his Fernape to resist uh, Fire. It's only this really big Fire Resist on his team is a Fernape, so that's going to be good. Here I'm just going to finish it off with an Earthquake. He's like, oh my god, Mixed Dragon or Physical Hydragon, what the hell is this? But I'm not, I'm not physical. Spoilers! Spoilers, I'm mixed! Yeah, this is a uh, mix that I made to replace mixed Salamence. Uh, honestly, yeah, this thing was scaring me too. I just wanted to stay in to see if it had Mach Punch, or if it was Tech Loom, or if he just wanted to force me to switch so he could get his Toxic Orb up and set up a sub or some shit like that. I don't want to set him to swore on anything, so I was willing to risk that, honestly, to see what type of freaking thing it was. 
Here I'm going to switch into uh, this guy get off the Timony, go for the knockoff, basically knock off the life orb. If he stays in, if he tries to set up a sword stance, or he goes with his force, just want to basically get away from me. Uh, but honestly, I think I've scared him off pretty good. Uh, I don't know why I scared him off. Honestly, I can't really do anything to Breloom. Uh, so yeah, I just want to knock off something. <laughs> Knocked off leftovers on Fortress, which is all fine Danny. So I'm switching to the big pop, basically to capitalize on setting up, but he still has freaking Gyarados, which walls like half my sets. Honestly, the only set he doesn't wall is uh, Wolf, but he has other guys to counteract that guy. So yeah, he switches in Gyarados, gets off the Intimidate, and I'm like, alright, I'm going to go behind a sub, because that's the smartest idea ever. Uh, honestly, I'm willing to just destroy the sub, because I'm still fearing the DD. Uh, so I'm just going to switch straight out of here, and not going to care about this free sub I got up, because uh, God knows what he's wanting us to do. So I'm going to switch into uh, slow down here, as he goes for a uh, Waterfall. And uh, if you want to break my sub... Possibly, God, I think I should just carry HP Electric on random shit for just random Gyarados. Uh, no, I don't think that would have killed, honestly. Uh, Gyarados is pretty freaking bulky. So I'm going to switch in the only check in the world, super checky to freaking Gyarados. He goes for a taunt, and I feel my curse. I'm like, oh my god, taunt is going to shred on my whole set. Because this is, in fact, my curse uh, rest talking Gyro Ball set. Uh, honestly, is rest talk? Why is nobody using bulky Ferrothorn with sleep talk? Honestly, that's. It's freaking it sounds so good, but it, it just gets shut down because it's so slow. Uh, he's going to T-Wave me. Here I thought I could still have speed, honestly. I'm freaking Sand Rush Stoutland. Honestly, in Sand, why can't I outspeed things? Gyarados, get out of here. Go for the Jolteon. Predicting I'm going to go for the Double Edge, because honestly, what does he have to take Wall Charge? Jolteon and Fortress? Uh, and honestly, Double Edge would have done the most to Gyarados if he stayed in, and uh, unfortunately he can actually outspeed, which he goes into Gyarados. Here I'm just like, what is? I'm just going to go full Wild Charge, outspeed and kill him, because he probably has no speed investments, but he still outspeeds me, which makes me like, damn, I'm, it's, I'm just underestimating the paralysis cutting speed so much. I just, oh my god, I hate that so, so much hate. I'm switching to my check to Gyarados as he switches into his brain. I'm going to go for straight for the Jar Ball. And wow, this finishes up right low. Uh, I do run a negative speed nature and zero EVs and IVs, so maybe that was maybe that would help me out. Uh, since it's in Fortress, I'm just gonna he's gonna set up spikes here. I'm like, I see an opportunity to set up a little fortress. But depending on how bulky Gyarados is, this is probably a bad idea. And really risky, honestly. Come on, I'm letting him set up all his hazards, but I'm like, I gotta take the chance. I can do this as long as he doesn't have roar. I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. He's got Thunder Wave, Taunt, Waterfall, and another attacking move, obviously. It's got to be obvious. It's obvious, because the Waterfall's bad coverage. And, uh, honestly, he gets walled by some things, uh, especially Ferrothorn. So I'm like, alright, he's got to have something else. But he, what does he have? But he could have... I'm like, alright, he's only moved for Ferrothorn's time. So he's basically just to shut down Ferrothorn for setting up hazards while he's in. That's all he's got. Come on. So I'm done setting up. And no as he switches in Gyarados, I can still set up a curse on that. Uh, I could have predicted around when he was going to switch, but honestly, that was that was just risky as hell. Because uh, if you stay in a fortress, I've been doing nothing to fortress. I have to get max damage. Um, Sandstorm's going to do a little bit, but bulky Gyarados survives another one as I go for the Jar Ball, and I'm like, oh, all right, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Nope, not going to take it up. And he's going to reveal to me Dragon Tail. Oh my god, Dragon Tail. Okay, but you get Orange Bar plus Sandstorm. You're pretty much dead, Gyarados, as long as you don't have rest. But uh, I think you revealed the full set to me. Waterfall, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and Dragon Tail. That is all four moves, indeed. And I believe I can basically threaten you out with anything. Um, but he Dragon Tail me out to Beast, which is fine. And leaves me with his last Pokemon, I believe, which is his Fortress. I'm going to finish this game off with a couple of EQs to the face. Spikes, honestly, in vain, because, uh, yeah, I float right over them. And, uh, yeah, he's got Jarrah So remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my opponent's channel in the link below. And uh, catch you guys on my next upload, which hopefully will be coming a lot sooner. My personal life's kind of shit right now, so uh, possibly won't have internet soon, God knows what's going to happen, honestly, my life's pretty screwed up right now, so yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next upload, whenever it may be, just bear with me, and uh, yeah, peace guys.